Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogwood33 and... Hold on. Never mind. My name is Dogwood33 and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserek as with two sisters. Now in the last video, we started building up our army to a respectable size. Ooh, we can promote this guy. Nice. Um, we'll do infantry expert. That'll be good for G uh, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. But yeah, we started building up our army. Um, we got out of Black Monday, more or less, and we're working on um, just bettering our economy. We already did a little bit of a land reform. Just a little bit. No, nothing too crazy, but a bit, you know? Uruguay won, won the World Cup. GG's. And so we're just prepping our economy, getting ready. We'll probably do this coming up and then we'll work on our army slowly but surely and then we might go to war when can we do this um we have to plan the great offensive and the reform plan so we might get working on these focuses sooner actually so yeah and um there goes South African Civil War. Um, the hype for the, uh, the 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 New Order beta is real. I am hyped as fuck for that. But yeah, we'll we'll get to that someday soon. Um, yeah, and something else just happened. But I wasn't paying attention. I just saw South African Civil War, and I thought, fuck, I want the New Order to come out right now. All right, um, Poland is um, kind of doing okay, which um, definitely not going to be seen when the, the New Order comes out. So it's nice to see it now while it is a, well, it's happening, you know? And Hungary's actually starting to push back relatively well. Not so much against um, the smaller guys, but the bigger guys, they're doing okay. What's Romania? Not Iron Guard Romania, just Romania. And then we got the Kingdom of Romania. Or the King. No real focus is there. Um, yeah. Ooh. Don't want to do anything like that. Tap that button. Um, okay, the Saudis are actually pushing back pretty well. Um, they are doing really well, actually. Oop, Russia's announced her ambitions. They're going into the caucus. The caucuses, I should say. Um, oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have official proof that Russia's meddled in the U.S. elections. No, no wonder why Iowa was such a clusterfuck. They were going, Russia was intervening into the caucuses. I, I, I don't, that was probably a dumb joke, but, you know, right now, I, I, I needed a dumb joke, you know? Just just something silly, you know, to get my mind off Corona, thinking of, so, think of something more, more uplifting like politics. <laughs> uh. Oh, America. What is, I don't know what's happening anymore. Let's get working on new guns while we can. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to start implementing them by the time we go to war for the SRI, but we might as well get working on it. That left elm uh, KMT has collapsed. I don't know. We don't have too much of a um of a horse in the fight, so. It doesn't matter too much to me. Who ends up coming up on top? Although, I've kind of seen Feng Tiang come out pretty well once or... Actually, two times I've played, actually, because they more or less won my Mongolia game. And then when I was over here in Transamore, they were doing pretty well. And they, um... Their friendliness with Japan actually helped me break free with them because 
They lined up on the Feng Tian. The Japanese troops just lined up on the Feng Tian border because they're idiots. And they don't realize we can't. I, they can't attack me through there. Let's do support equipment. Get working on that. And so because of that, once we um, Japan, even though they massively outnumbered us, didn't know how to use our fucking troops. So we hung out long enough to get a good, decent peace deal. The federal collapse. Oof. Um, it's not good for America, but pop along. Oh, Huey. You're making me long just seeing this right now. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, they're at war with the Entente, though. They are not long for this world. At all. Eh? See what I did there? Not long. I didn't even mean to do that. Kill me. Um... I mean, this coronavirus is going to do that anyway. So, um, well, probably not. That's a, but, you know, a patey? Uh, when the country without a focus tree still kicks your ass. Oh, that's to feel bad. I'm curious, it's been three, four fucking updates since the... The North American update that overhauled everything in Haiti still hasn't gotten their fucking focus tree. I mean, they released a fucking, um, what was it? A focus tree revealing that, uh, Pro Puerto Rico is get becoming an independent nation with a focus tree. And they fucking still didn't reveal anything. So, um, you know, that's funny. Feel bad for Haiti. God knows they have it bad enough in real life. I can't even get a fucking focus tree. If guys were like to get some semblance of glory that um, they sadly might not achieve for a very long time. It's sad. It really is. I feel bad for Haiti. Um, I'm just glad we got we sent Sean Penn over there to fix everything. And everything so. Oh, Sean Penn. Um, do you want to do light or heavy tanks? I'm thinking light, we'll do light tanks for this go. Is that, well, we have some flatter land, so they'll be kind of useful. Somewhat useful, at least. And we have, uh, urban areas. This is mostly, uh, hills. So we might not have the best time getting through here, but once we punch through, we'll have a decent shot. Okay, Guangzhou. I see you. Going after the Qing. I can I can get behind that. I can. Um I'd say actually I can. I'd I was about to say down for monarchy, but we are a fucking monarchy. So um I gotta I gotta watch my interest. Um let's get working on our DT Dilgi. Panini. The mountainous region in the border with the Senegalist controlled areas will be crucial battleground, as will be the Alps once we are forced to face the French menace. Our elite troops, heirs of a sur uh, surviving Alpini of the Italian Federal Army, will gallantly serve again. There we go. At Panini. I could go for Panini right now. Um. Ooh, Sichuan? Is also at war with Qing, which is interesting. Um, about Shangqing, well, they have a non-agreement with Hunan. So it doesn't necessarily. M oh, actually, they're a puppet. So I mean, I don't know. We'll wait and see what ends up happening here. But right now, it looks good for the Qing. So shout out, Ch uh, not Qing, the Guangzhou, Guangzhou. Forget that. Nope. Today, Prince Eugenio, a relative of Amadeo I of Sardinia, has married Princess Lucia Maria Raniera, the fourth daughter of King Ferdinand of the Two Sicilies, in a lavish ceremony in Napoli. Well, who doesn't love a good royal wedding? Am I right, Britain? Eh? Huh? You guys have that, um... The one girl, um... Markle. You know, you had that whole... Pubis that whole good publicity until they, you know, they fucking left. So that was a nice distraction from, um, uh, Andrew. 
which um, if you don't know what happened to Andrew, um, I I was going to say I'm glad to get demonetized if I talked about it, but I don't even make money off these fucking videos. Anyway, Epstein. Yeah, um, it's kind of chummy with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, which is a sentence that if Ed if that can be said about you, that is not good. If you are chumming with Jeffrey Epstein, that is... Oh, that is a horrible, horrible sign. Um. Ah. Uh, well, it was chummy before he, um... Allegedly killed himself. I'm not gonna talk much more about this, because I don't want to get fucking murdered. Because, um... Or, I don't want to shoot myself two times in the back of the head. I, I should say. Because I... I'm going to shut the fuck up now before I actually get get killed. Um, it's probably not going to happen. No one, no one watches my, my video, so no one gives a shit what I have to say. But, you know. Still freak out mildly. Okay, um... Hmm. Finland went nap pop. Denmark went off them. These guys went Cindy. Well, Cindy, uh, radical socialist. So, um, this is gonna be an intra kind of an interesting um, Scandinavia. It's gonna in kind of be in kind of gonna be interesting to see how they end up playing off each other. How's uh, Ira doing? About how's Iceland doing? Oh, they are independent, though they are guaranteed by the kingdom. So we'll see what happens there. I think I said this before, but Iceland's probably one of the funnest nations that I'll probably never play anytime soon. But stuff against the actual Iceland country because it's actually like it's actually kind of interesting and a lot of fun to play. So you know, yeah. Up, oh, um, there goes um, Russia. <laughs> Just eating shit up, lobbing out slowly but surely into um, a fucking hor horror movie monster. Could we ally Russia? I think that's the fucking play, honestly. Um. They're chumming with the Saudis and the Ethiopians. Not so f f uh, fond of the Indo-Chinese. Which is interesting, but, um... You know, what are you gonna do? Let's begin army reform and then work on Messi's reform plan. Which will give us some nice bonuses, actually. If I've got to read that out. Um, our army is still, in many ways, a mishmash of malicious old federal Italian divisions, conscripts, and volunteer for foreigners. Organizing it into an effective fighting force will be a complicated f task indeed, but we'll deal with that as the time comes. Um, let's try to get some... Alright, we have to re actually re research the fucking Mountaineers. That's right. I, I had a brain fart for a second. Um, it's not looking good for um, the Ottomans. Holy shit. Iran holds Constantinople. Oh... Who knows, um, Iran pulled a sudden Uno uh, reverse card, and now they are the true heirs of the Roman Empire. They are the fourth Rome. Um, Russia's third Rome. I forget if anyone's f the fourth Rome. I, I think that's, yeah. Um, feels bad for um, the the Patagonians and the Azerbaijanis and soon the Tur uh, the Turkestanis. But uh, right now I'm just trying to stay alive. So as long as it's not me, you know. All right, spies. They are a thing. Um, I could create an agency. I'll be honest. I don't care enough. To um, well, that's not 
to fair. My economy's not good enough right now, and that is actually an honest and fair reason not to give a shit about spies. Well, the uh, South African Civil War actually finished up relatively quickly. That never fucking happens. It usually drags out for fucking ever. But, um, they did it. The Mad Lads actually fucking won. Which, um, I'm trying to think. The one ga the game I did in South Africa as a Dominionist, I actually avoided the Civil War outright. There's a... I don't know if there's still the event chain, but there is an event chain, when I, there was one when I played, that you can avoid the Civil War, at least as a Dominionist. I don't know about the, um, the Nationalists, if you can do that, but I did that, and then fucking pushed up from Middle Africa, when uh, we eventually went to war for Reichspacht. Which I forget if I, I started it or not. I probably did. I, I forget. I remember, we up it in Switzerland. It's weird the things you do and do not re remember. Like, hmm. I was gonna make a kind of a, a deep personal. And actually, um, the Ottomans are starting to push pretty well in Ty. They took Tehran, so um, they're literally fucking. It's a, literally a fucking VP rush to see who can take their points later. I was going to tell some sad, depressing story about my um, a deceased relative and how I remember my Let's Plays more than I remember them, but I can't think of anyone where that's actually true. Um... Yeah, I can't think of anything. So, no dumbass jokes for me to make today about my dead family. Let's get working on, um, probably Messi's reform plan. Um, a small clique of generals led by Giovanni Messi, a veteran of our war of resistance, is planning audacious, audacious reforms to our military structure and planning, perhaps allowing them to have their voice heard, is in our best interest. I agree. In fact, that'll allow us to go ahead and declare war on the, um, Italians. And we'll get claims on all of our land, and then we can proceed as we see fit. Curious what the, um, the Republic is going to be up to. Yeah, I'm not sure. The one thing that's nice about the recent Italian overhaul is that when you do this focus, it doesn't fucking declare, force you to go to war. Oh, who declared war on... Oh, Albania. Way to rub salt in the fucking wound. Albania. Um, what was I about to say? Um, do we want to... Yeah, let's swap over now while we can. Um, what childish fantasy? Uh-huh, um... um Fear, fear, right joke here. Um. Fuck, what was I talking about? I'm talking for so fucking long, I forget what I'm talking about. I'll have to. Well, this video's about to end soon anyway, so I'd have to cut it soon anyway. So I'll just look back in the footage and try to remember what I was talking about. And if it was something stupid, I probably won't talk about it. Or I probably will, because I don't have anything else to go through. Engineering, what do I want to research next? I'll do, I don't know, um, oh, we can do actual important stuff. Yeah, let's do a dispersed industry. Um, that's all the time I have, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you for watching, as always. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike if you want to see more of my content in the future. Hit that subscribe button for more uploads every weekday, so every Saturday. If you have any comments, feedback, or concerns, anything like that, Comment section link below. I read all the comments I get. I try to reply to as many as I can. And I appreciate any all the feedback you kind of folks might have for me. If you want to send a few bucks my way, if you are so inclined, Patreon link below. If you can or you don't want to, fair enough. Also, I have a Discord link below if you want to join a fan chat. And I am infrequently streaming on Twitch. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Um, we can have some fun with that, hopefully. And yeah. 
that's about it, guys. My name has been Doug with 33, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.